Having to use a remote control to control a ceiling fan and light is a major drag. First you turn the power on and the, and the light doesn't come on. You have to sit there and turn the light on the remote control and uh, the batteries go dead and everything else. So let me show you what I did here. I've got a switch. So I just switch for the light and then I got a, a fan control. So, so you can kind of see the fan control there. And that way uh, I can throw away my remote control. Let me show you how to wire it. Good morning, everybody. I have a Hampton Bay fan. It has a remote control. You can see the remote control uh, receiver unit up here. And the plan is, is I want to use a wall mount here. I'm, I'm really tired of these remote controls. The batteries are, are just a hassle. And every time you come in here to turn on the lights, you got to turn on the, the remote control. So I've got a light switch and we've got two light switches and uh, they both go to the same wire that goes to the ceiling. And I'm going to take this one and replace it with the, the remote control. Let's go up to the ceiling here and kind of see how it comes out here. We got a, a white wire, a red wire, and a black wire. And uh, one of the, those wires will go to, to the, the speed control, the other one will go directly to the switch. And then the only challenge is, is we got to get rid of this bad boy here. And, and wire it up directly. And I looked on some forums. I was on uh, the, I think the Smart Homes forums and I found somebody who has all the wiring for this. And we're gonna wire this and let's just see if it works. Okay, here we are at the smarthome.com forums. And I just wanna show you the post I was talking about here. and see if we can describe this. So the neutral hooks up the yellow wire. The neutral hooks up to a 4.5 microfarad capacitor and then to the gray. And then uh, on the, the, the line side coming in with the pink wire and the red wire. And this is to have downwards rotation. And for upward rotation, we reverse the yellow and the pink. So, uh, uh, and then for the light, the light hooks up between the white and the blue. So the uh, the neutral goes to the white and then the hot goes to the blue on the switched light power. Okay, here's a, a Hampton Bay controller I happen to have. And if you undo the screws and open it up, you can see right here, we got a 4.5 microfarad capacitor. And we have two of them. Here I prepared the starting capacitor because I'm only going to use the brown and the black and the red I got tucked off to the side and I didn't strip the wire for it. Okay, I cut the old wiring harness out there, pulled everything out and I put my new wires in here and I just happened to have some uh, 14 gauge Romex and I also needed a red wire. I mean, we need to have a, a, a red, a white, a black and I guess the ground doesn't hurt, although we don't really need the ground but it doesn't hurt. Like I said, uh, there's other grounding points. We didn't really need the ground, but I hooked up a ground anyway, put a little lug on there. Now I'm hooking up the neutral. And if you notice, the neutral is, of course, the white wire. And it's got the white wire going down in the harness, which goes to the neutral of the light, a yellow wire, and then it's got the, the wire going to the, the capacitor. And then the, uh, the other end of the capacitor is hooked up to the gray wire. So that's the neutral. Now the line in black wire hooks up to my light switch. This is the on off light switch and that goes to the blue wire of the harness and that switches on and off the light. Now from the outlet red wire, the big fat red wire go, that's going to end up going to the, the speed controller and then I have that hooked up to the harness pink and the harness red. So now we just got to hook up the, install the ceiling fan and hook up the, the wires and I'm not even going to test it because I know that this is just going to work the first try. We are all finished. Light switch works. Turn on to one. So here's the, the thing. One is the highest speed. Takes a little while to spin up to speed. There it goes now. It's like at max speed and it's really blowing now. Then we go to, oops. Two, the slower, three is the sl real slow, and four is the slowest. So here's on four. 
which is a nice comfortable speed. And uh, now I don't need a remote control. Bypass that pesky remote control and now I'm happy.